what's up guys Clamp here uh, I was just doing a little bit of small XP grinding off camera just trying to get up to level 13 and uh, I didn't realize that level 13 is when uh, Squirtle learns a new move uh, water gun so uh, when you uh, get four new four moves you need to uh, you need to decide what you want to get rid of and uh, I want to get rid of tail whip as I don't really use it so now we have a, uh, a new uh, extra move. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Flank here, back for another episode of Pokemon Fire Red. So, just in that little intro sequence, we had gotten a, uh, a level up. So, uh, I just decided to briefly level up uh, our Pidgey and our Squirtle up to 13 and 10, respectively. Uh, just that specifically, just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, we shouldn't have that hard of a time in the gym, but yeah. Tutor Museum of Science. Well, I'll, have to, I'll have to check that out after. The fairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Interesting. Oh, let's... Pewter City Pokemon Gym Leader Brock. The Rock Solid Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, so we've got the Rock Type Gym. Hiya! Do you want? Do you dream? Do you want to dream big? Do you dare dream of becoming the Pokemon Champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yeah, sure. All right, let's get this happening. The first Pokemon out in the match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. So uh, what he's talking about is uh, pre-organizing your Pokemon. So like, let's say he has a, uh, I don't know, a water type, and water type and water type isn't very good, but flying type, Gust, is pretty good against water. Uh, what I could do is put my Pidgey out first, deal with that and then when I defeat the Pokemon and get the switch then I can switch back to my water type if uh, if there's a better advantage later just a thought so uh, how the Pokemon gyms work is we just have to uh, defeat you don't even need to defeat the trainers we could just like kind of walk around and that'll work but uh, I like facing the trainers usually they'll have a few uh, trainers that you got to deal with so uh, in this case just this one guy Camper Liam would like to battle. Camper Liam sent out Geodude. And we send out Benly. So, uh, level 10, so the strongest Pokemon we've seen yet. And they're Rock type. So, uh, we have a, we have a Water type, and Water type advantages uh, works out for us here. So, uh, all of our moves will be super strong. Causing us to just wipe out a level 10. We gained 183 XP, quite a bit. And Sand Shrew. Let's pull out Pidgey. I actually don't know if Pidgey will be good in this situation, but I just want to kind of flip through Pokemon, stuff like that. Let's just try. Oh, well, that was just a crit. Sand Shrew used Scratch, and not not that good. This is just gonna be a battle of just spitting on each other. Just like that. There we go. Uh, later on, once you you really get an arsenal of uh, Pokemon, it becomes a lot better. But, uh, that'll, that'll be at a different point. So we defeated Camper Lamb. Light years isn't time, it measures distance. We got 220 for winning. And uh, now we just go on to Brock. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's, I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Are all the rock type. All right. Thought I read that weird. Hoo ha ha ha. You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? 
That's the trainer's honor. That compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. So, gym leader one, Brock. He has uh, two Pokemon. He carries a Geodude and an Onyx. So, uh, yeah, we're, we, we should be easily taking care of Brock uh, with our type advantaging and a critical too. That's, that's the first Pokemon gone. I mean, 220 XP, that's real good. Brock's about to send out his Onix. Change Pokemon. Actually gonna not change Pokemon. I'm just gonna go straight with this. So a level 14. Level 14. We're, uh, we're even matched here. Except for the fact that we have major type advantaging. Two crits? I, I'm surprised we one-shot the Geo, dude. let alone the Onyx. It's been 320. We, well, not even a level up. I'm just kind of surprised. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you. This is the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. We received the Boulder Badge from Brock. Having the badge makes us more powerful, and it also allows us to use HM Flash. Of course, a Pokemon must know how to use the move Flash. Got $1,400 for winning that. Wait, take this with you. And then we receive the TM39 case. Technical machine contains a technique for a Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use. So... When you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, we got the Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe at fast speeds. Yeah, just like that. That's the first gym. Uh, the first gym, in my opinion, like if you if you choose type disadvantage for the first gym, you're gonna have a hard time. Which this is part of the reason I chose Squirtle for my starter. Yes, 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 it is for a child's ticket. I don't know what this is. Sure, we'll go in. We got this large room, the museum. Aerodactyl fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Yeah. Kabutops fossil, a Primitive and rare Pokemon. Are they all primitive and rare? Ooh, what is this? Space Shuttle. Oh, it's just a space shuttle. This month we're running a space exhibit. What's this guy saying? Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. A meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. It is thought to be a moonstone. July 20th, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a t color TV just so I could watch the news. Oh, we're, we're learning stuff on 1969. The moon landing is kind of a hard date to really forget. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. Yeah, Pikachu. Soon, I promise. Man, that guy looks a uh, wee bit annoyed, wouldn't you say? All right, well, that was interesting, I guess. Let's see what's in this house. Our Pokemon's an outsider, so it's finicky and hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may be ignored. But it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. So yeah, this is uh, talking about a principle of your. Uh, if you uh, if you trade Pokemon uh, from like online, 
uh, sometimes they won't really listen to you for a little while, so you're gonna need to really train with them and get some gym badges, stuff like that. Did you check out the museum? Yes, I did. Weren't those fossils from Mount Moon amazing? Um, I, I guess so. You got down? Down here. Pewter City, a stone gray city. I don't know, it looks pretty energetic to me. Psst, do you know what I'm doing? Yes, that's right, it's hard work. Psst, do you know what I'm doing? Oh, d dude, I wanted to hit no. What I'm doing? No! I'm spraying Repel to keep the wild Pokemon out of my garden. Yeah, that, uh, that actually brings us to a another point. Actually, I might want to... Heal up. Yeah, I'm gonna heal all the Pokemon. Just to make sure we, uh... We're running full. And, uh... Yeah, so what he's talking about there, uh, Repel. So a Repel, if you use it, uh, when you walk through tall grass, wild Pokemon will not attack you. At least for, like, a couple hundred steps. Which is quite a bit when you, when you really think about it. Yeah, I'm not gonna really get one, because we don't really need one, but, uh, yeah. So, from here, notice, thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils from Mount Moon. Please call the pewter, the pewter police if you have any information. Will do. Oh, hello. I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this to you. We received the running shoes. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is important. <laughs> With the running shoes, we finally have a form of movement. So instead of moving at this pace, we can move at this pace. Yeah. So, like that, we are on Route 3. So starting off, excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Well, I guess we mean, I guess we mean, I guess I mean that we are battling. Last Janus would like to battle. Sent out a Pidgey. So uh, from here on out, uh, Pokemon are going to be a lot more powerful. So we really got to make sure we uh, play well. Ooh, that was, a, that was a really powerful attack. Got to make sure we... Uh, we're ready for battles, because uh, any battle can really be a killing blow to us. Page 105, we're up to level 15. Sending out another Pidgey. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do Pidgey versus Pidgey, why not? This might not go well, but... <laughs> why not? Gust. I don't actually know if Gust will do very much. Yeah, not really. Tackle is definitely more of the way to go. Now they're realizing that too. Oh, wow, that was a crit. There we go. Not bad. And 105. We defeated Last Janus. Just like that. So easy. Yeah, so, uh, from here, we have so many trainers up ahead. So, uh, this is where I'm gonna start probably skipping trainer battles if they're not noteworthy. If there's something to bring up, I'll bring it up, but if not, yeah, I'll, I'll probably pass. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll just keep battling. Yeah. No, we, we haven't seen close before. We've probably seen like 10 to 15, but it's a 15th. Which is surprising considering how massive Pokemon is. Ooh, and we also have our Squirtle Bentley evolving. I've been expecting this to happen for a little while, but uh, yeah. 
our Squirtle evolved into a War Turtle. Congratulations, your Bentley evolved into War Turtle. Yes. So we may as well uh, show him off. Are you a trainer? Let's let's get with it right away. We'll, uh, we'll get to kick this kid's ass. Catcher Greg. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, I mean, not a lot changes when you evolve. Uh, your attacks, I believe you get a little spike in attack power. That's about it. Yeah, that, that's like about it. So, uh, I'll just... I'll just beam through these uh, Pokemon, Pokemon, uh, the rest of this trainer battle as well. Okay. Should just be able to uh, run through here. I don't know if this, oh, if they will let me battle. I thought that was just a person I could talk to. There's a, there's a lot of battles here than uh, more, more than I thought there was at least. Finally, I believe hopefully. Oh no. Come on. Eek, did you touch me? I did not. Okay, it's just one Pokémon. Last Robin with Jigglypuff. Ah. Here's the, uh, the Jigglypuff, I pretty iconic. Uh, disable. Oh no, her bubble was disabled. It's not good. But Jigglypuff's cute charm influenced Bentley. Oh no. So yeah, Jigglypuff has like a lot of uh, a lot of kind of trolley moves. Love. I don't even know how to disable that. Oh. <sighs> Alright, well. Best we can do is swap out. But, uh, her, her Pidgey is considerably weaker. And their Jigglypuff. So hopefully, uh, that's a little bit. Ooh, that's good. Luckily, our uh, our Pidgey outspeeds Jigglypuff. Ooh, just using Pound. Maybe this, maybe this will get Jigglypuff. Oh my goodness, that was really lucky. Maybe we got really unlucky. Luckily, we got Jigglypuff without too much damage happening. Got 114 split uh, two ways. Play her last Robin defeated. That's it? Yeah. You gave me a run for my money there. So with that, we can uh, walk on through up to here. All right, that guy's not a... I, every single time, I'm like, oh man, is that a trainer? So uh, we can march and romp on through to here, and there's a Pokemon Center here. Thank goodness, I don't want to walk all the way back. It's actually not that big of a deal, but you know, it's uh, not, uh, not not the most fun having to walk all the way back. And uh, there was actually a Pokemon I was wanting to catch back here. on Route 3, and uh, we have Mount Moon ahead of us. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. I don't think this guy's a trainer. Ooh, I better take a rest, Groan. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Yeah, we're gonna have to be dealing with that relatively shortly. But uh, what we're looking for, we're not looking for a Jigglypuff. A level 3 Jigglypuff? You're so weak! Alright. 
I finally have found what I'm looking for. This Nidoran. I need to be careful because I, I could kill this thing very easily. So what I'm going to do is just try and catch it. I've got 10 attempts. It's, it's level 7. So it's, it's not that high of a level. And just, I don't want to damage him because I fear I'm going to kill him. Alright, here we go. Gotcha, Nidoran was caught. A grassland Pokemon. Its large ears flap like wings when it is listening for distant sounds. It extends toxic barbs when angered. Give it a nickname. I don't have anything to name it. Maybe one day I'll come back and name it. But, uh, that's certainly not today. So let's get our, uh, let's get our heal going. So from here, uh, I'll probably just swap train up Nidoran. I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, our Squirtle is actually overleveled, and our uh, Pidgey is on level. Uh, so, you know, I'll, I'll do, deal with it later. <laughs> so as we read a little bit early, earlier, Mount Moon Tunnel Entrance. So yeah, entering into Mount Moon... A little cutscene into there. So uh, you have wild Pokemon spawning all over the place. Beware, Zubat is a bloodsucker. Oh, I didn't even realize this is a battle. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Lass Iris would like to battle, sending out Clefairy. A little bit of an interesting. Uh, Pokemon to have here. Use our uh, water gun. Not that effective. <laughs> Double slap. So this is the first introduction to a uh, a multi-hitting move. So this move has RNG chances to hit you once, twice, three times, four times. It's all RNG. And saying hopefully. Ugh. Okay, we'll need to swap. Uh, sleepiness is a little bit of a weird, uh, like, debuff. But yeah, it's like that. And also, while I was uh, grinding up trying to find the Nidoran, I, uh, I leveled up Pidgey, so we now have Quick Attack, which is uh, pretty nice. And a uh, nice little spread of XP. Player defeated last Iris. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run back just so then I can grab uh, a heal and stuff quickly. Okay. And uh, disoriented. And we have a battle, a Zubat, level seven, pretty easy, considering we're level eighteen. <laughs> Though it is a flying type, so I believe it uh, edges us out in advantage. But we, uh, still destroyed it. Yeah, there's, uh, lots of trainers in here. Lots of items as well. That's, that's very important to note. So, uh, yeah. From, uh, from here on out, what I believe I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna cut out battles of, th th that are not of note. Which, uh, most of them are just, like, kind of whatever. Down to TM. Oh, nine. Okay. After uh, taking out that battle, coming up into the, uh, the top left of this small little area, you get a paralyzed heal. So, I've decided, just based off of what the hell is going on here, 
I'm going to go back to town, go back to Peter City, and get some uh, repels. There's going to be a lot of battles, and I'm going to be very over-leveled if I don't do that. I already feel like I'm over-leveled. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back there and grab repel. A lot of them. Okay, so I'm back, and I've got six repels. So this means there will no longer be wild Pokemon the next 100 something steps. So through Mount Moon, we have, uh, we have these ladders down. I'm not going to take this first one yet, uh, as I want to get all the, uh, all the stuff. We also got an escape rope. Cape ropes are uh, pretty nice. We got a rare candy. Those are very nice. And then uh, we got two guys over here. What? Don't sneak up on me. So yeah, there, there's tons of battles all over the place. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do all of them. Uh, I don't need to do all of them. But uh, this one we got Magnemite, which is uh. Cooler, uh, a little bit of a cooler Pokemon to, to come see, and uh, yeah, so there's uh, lots of little areas that we can go in and out and through, and all that jazz. So, I'm gonna try and make it as not terrible as possible. I'm gonna be honest. It, it's not great. That's an Voltorb. Uh, we're just gonna keep gonna keep our uh, Pokemon out. Screamed Joven. So that's uh, electric type. So uh, I don't know if it has any electric moves, but uh, it would definitely kick our butt. I don't know if I've seen that one. Defense harshly fell. Apparently harshly is not harsh enough. We got 204 XP. It's quite a bit. So, we have a uh, other Pokemon right over here. We got a potion. Not bad. And the uh, repel wore off. Whenever that happens, trust me on this one, we're going to immediately put on another one. I highly recommend you do exactly what I have done here and put on more. So, I'm trying to uh, make sure I know where this is. So. This area is a wee bit of a maze. So, we got these guys. We Team Rocket are uh, Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength or something. Yes. So, these are the first of the Team Rocket battles. So, if you're a fan of the uh, if you're a fan of the anime, then uh, you will instantly recognize these guys, and they are very present in this game. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with them a little bit, rough them up. Luckily, uh, my squirrel is just absolutely OP. Your defense curl will do nothing. I am sorry to say that to you. Your defense curl is useless compared to uh, what I've got. Signature fainted. 210. <laughs> Getting real close to that level 20. And a Rattata. You know what? I will switch. Let's uh, let's let's use our Pidgey. Let's use Gus. Why not? 
Give me a quick attack. Uh, that's actually a very important thing to note. Uh, you saw that we out-level this Rattata, and we're also a bird, or a flying type, you know, flying types are very fast normally. But yet, it still went before us. That is the, uh, that is like the introduction of priority moves. There are moves that, no matter the speed, you can have the slowest speed, but if you go, if you're, if you're using a priority move or we're using a normal move, you will go first. Which, uh, can be used to really, really mess with, uh, like, mess, mess with, like, orders and, uh, really can, uh, push you ahead in battles against people who don't exactly know that about battling. That priority moves exist. And it can also come in a lot of clutch, so uh, do your research and figure out which ones are priority moves. Ooh. Became confused. This is the introduction of confusion. So uh, if, you're, if you get confused and you attack, you sometimes can use wrong moves or even hurt yourself. Luckily, we uh, got pretty lucky, and uh, Zubat using a life steal move. Luckily, not a lot of uh, not a lot of uh, stuff happened. Yeah, so you can see we hurt ourselves in our own confusion. Thank God! Thank goodness we snapped out of the confusion. Confusion is just not fun to have to deal with in this game. It's kind of a crappy, it's just a bit of a stick in the mud move, but it exists. Ah, uh, blow it. You did. We're not powerful enough. So down here, we have our first item. We have a star piece. Ah, I guess we're playing Paper Mario now. Move my way around. So there's the fall. I was I was not prepared for these like little side rooms. I'm gonna be honest. But that's fine, I guess. Uh, Mount Moon, honestly, is not that big. So let's see. I want to make sure I know exactly where I am as soon as I pop out. Yes, I do know where I am. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Now, oh, right, right, right. Uh, I have two antidotes. And I'll use a potion just to bring us back up to decent health. That should be fine. We, like, outclass everything. Another TM. And uh, we might be getting into a wee bit of a battle here, but that's alright. Did you come to explore the cave, too? All right, through that kid. All right, <laughs> we're running a wee bit low on these repels here. So, uh, we should be good. We found a moonstone. Good stuff. We all, uh, we know that'll be useful. Well, I know that'll be useful. <laughs> I'm gonna take it pretty slow because I want to be like conservative with how I make my steps. So uh, we now let up. Down uh, down here to the right was the uh, area that uh, we fought the guy with the two Pokemon, and slightly below here is where we fought the guy with the three Pokemon. We're gonna need to do another Team Rocket fight, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna start fighting the uh, not noteworthy ones again. <laughs> We defeated, defeated, we defeated the next Team Rocket grunt. We are scarily running low on these. Uh, should be fine. So 
So, a lot of straight lines from here on out. Gotta go around this giant box. We've got this guy now, too. We Team Rocket shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. Well, thank you for telling me what your plan was. Oh. And we got a uh, scientist up here. What I'm going to do is uh, quickly heal these guys. I don't know if I'm going to need them or if it'll really matter. I don't even know if this is a battle. I'm just going to be completely honest, but I'm just going to full heal everyone. Make sure we're in good condition. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Well, I can kind of see the battle coming. Three Pokemon. Super Nerd Miguel would like to battle. Or Miguel. We got a Grimer. The first Pokemon of uh, this that we've seen. I don't actually know if water will be good against them. Presumably it's gr Presumably it is good. I don't know if Harden was the uh, was the move there. I might be taking you out in two here. Unfortunate. You gambled and you lost. Super Nerd Miguel is about to pull out Voltorb. Uh, we'll, we'll keep. We'll hang. Voltorb, Voltorb. Interesting to note that Voltorb does not have a specified sex in this game. Uh, I'm gonna credit it. Wow. And a coughing. So it's the first we've seen of coughing as well. Looking, his face looks so derpy. There's tackle, and none of the specialty moves are being used. We're just taking, we're breezing through. This game, man, this game. Okay, I'll share. Got 288. We take a fossil. No need to be greedy. Um. I guess he will take. All right, then this fossil is mine. Like how we don't even know what he got. So we make it to the uh, end of over here, and with just enough for that repel. We got one antidote just in case uh, you get poisoned. And we are through. So we've made it through Mount Moon. And we are well on our way to Cerulean City. So next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we are going to start marching on down to Cerulean City. And hopefully take on another gym leader. But that'll be next time. So... I will see you guys then.